beautiful dancing. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Y'all all right? What's going on? Hey, Evelyn, Mrs. Frazier, how y'all doing? Good, good, good. Well, welcome to 10 minutes of your time. Today, uh, I have a dressed lunch guest. Aren't y'all excited? I'm so happy that she's here with me today. Um, let me make sure that my phone is on Do Not Disturb. So um, today we're going to do another kind of like a right under meal. What I'm doing right now is trying to use all of the vegetables that I had from earlier in the week. Um, I have Jada's favorite vegetable, which is mushrooms. Uh, we're going to do some um, zucchini and broccoli. I have an onion, a little bit of garlic some parsley and an onion, but we're also gonna do some salmon in the air fryer. Uh, Jada is pescatarian, so she loves uh, fish. So we're gonna do salmon and it was on sale this week. Um, and Jada actually cooked salmon last week for her family. So parents, if you have teenagers, if you have middle school kids, now is the time to get them involved in the kitchen. So I'm so proud of her for getting dressed on her B-Day schedule because that had been a struggle for us as a group. <laughs> she wasn't dressed, but she also has her nails done. I got acrylic. So yeah. So Jada uh, is coming up on her 15th birthday. And when Jada and I met, I think Jada was maybe eight or nine years old. So I'm a little emotional. So one of the things that we're talking about today, uh, we're gonna to talk about four Ps. We're gonna talk about prospects. We're gonna talk about pitfalls. We're gonna talk about pleasures. And we're also gonna talk about being pretty. Yeah, so come a little closer, come a little closer. So uh, being 15, uh, you have a lot to look forward to. So one we just talked a little bit about, ago about um, you're getting ready to go back to school. So what are you looking forward to? What is what is something that's a prospect uh, for you going back to school? Um, I'm looking forward to being with my friends. That because I um, middle school. <laughs> I went to. I'm going to a high school without my middle school friends because I auditioned for a school, and now I've met the kids online, and I've. FaceTime them and talk to them pretty often, but I haven't really met them in person besides the audition. So, which was like eight months ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to finally actually be with my friends and know what they're talking about in like the group chats and stuff. Cause I, they'll be talking about something that happened at school. They'll be like, huh? <laughs> ah, okay. So um, going back to school after, um, well, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, but um, your school has all of the safety protocols in place. You feel comfortable with how they're handling it? Yeah, yeah. yes. And my school doesn't have any cases either. Doesn't so. have any cases. That's awesome. And the reason why they don't have any cases is because they're practicing prevention. By wearing masks. Wear your mask. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they said, I've been talking to, well, not like I've been on... What are they called? Teams? Teams. Like lives. And the teachers have been talking about how they don't really have a problem with masks or following safety protocols or anything. They don't have a problem with the meaning that everyone is following the rules. Yes, like they're not yeah. having any problems. Good, good, good. Because of science. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. So, that is something to look forward to. So, Ms. Latrice is excited that you get to go back to school. I know that that has been a challenge. You actually haven't been in uh, actual brick and mortar school for since, what, March? Mm -hmm. March so. 13th was the last day, I remember. <laughs> it was Friday the 13th, too. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, it was March 13th. Okay. All right. So, we talked about uh, prospects. We had things to look forward to. Um, but we also need to talk about some pitfalls. 
So what are some of the pitfalls? What are some of the challenges that you could potentially fall into, pitfalls that you could fall into uh, once you get back in school? Oh, sorry, Cindy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, not a trick question. I have to start actually, like, not actually keeping up with my work, but trying harder to mm -hmm. because now it's not like I don't do it. It's just I have a lot of time because mm -hmm. I'm still in the house. Like there's not a drive to school or anything, any like rehearsals after school. Mm -hmm. So I'm just there all the time. So I have plenty of time. You know, but I actually have to start like balancing a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meaning you got to have a plan. Got a plan. Got to have a plan. Okay. All right. Well, plans are good. Um, so as you're thinking about, because you go back when? In October? Um, October 19th, yes. Just counting down the days, y'all. Um, going back in October, um, the weather's going to be changing, so that should be good. Um, what is something, have you considered, um, you know, going back? You know, there's a, a good population that decided to take the first semester as virtual. Um, like, how will you you know, assimilate? How will you get back into, because everyone has their clicks and things like that. Um, how do you, how do you find your, your way? Well, uh, it's a bit of a longer story. At, in February, there were the auditions for the school and I made a group of friends there. We just started talking casually mm -hmm. and we made a group chat. Mm -hmm. And it's evolved a little bit. I mean, like more people have been added. Nobody really got like taken out. It wasn't anything dramatic. Um, and no, no drama in high school. Oh. <laughs> and so the friend, the little like friend circle, kind of carried through the summer. And I still talk to them mm -hmm. like every day. I have individual friendships with each of the people in the group. Like we talk outside of the group. Mm -hmm. So I will like have people there when I go who I know pretty well. Okay. And I'm go. One of the kids from my middle school, I have friends with him for a few years, mm -hmm. um, is going. And I was like, "What am I gonna do when I get there?" He's like, "I got you." <laughs> Always good to have one in the pocket. Hey, Miss Pat, can you give me that other cutting board from over there, the one with the handle? So that's that's great. Um, so, well, uh, when you go back to school, you won't be eating healthy on B days. So, what are you gonna do about lunch? Um, I'm gonna have to start packing lunches again. I have to start packing lunches. Something I am not excited about doing again. <laughs> so, but if you plan, it should make it easier. Oh yes. Okay. So what are what are some of your favorite? Well, if you had to pack a lunch, what are some of the things you're thinking about um, taking? Pasta. <laughs> Because you can't eat it, like, cold. <laughs> I'd be willing to eat What else are we going to have with the pasta, Jada? Fruit snacks. I'm just kidding. Uh, uh -huh. Vegetables and fruits. Like, vegetables. I, take, I can take, um, I can't eat anything up at school. Mm -hmm. So I can take things like apples, pears, peaches, like, fruits that can be taken mm -hmm. to school. And vegetable-wise, I would probably be taking uncooked vegetables like raw broccoli instead mm -hmm. of like cooked broccoli because I don't want to eat like cold cooked broccoli in the middle of the day. Yeah. Well you get what I guess they have those like little um hot pockets that you can put in your lunch bag. Guys that are just joining us we're doing our um a right under lunch we're just doing uh, some leftover vegetables and we're doing some salmon in the air fryer. Um so we're going to go ahead and get the pan hot. I thought you meant like a hot pocket, like a like. No, not like the hot pocket. Not the lunch. No, not. Are we gonna eat a hot? No, pocket? you know those things that little things that you can put in the microwave to get them hot and then stick it in your bag. Yes. Or you can uh, get a thermos and heat your vegetables up and put it in the thermos and it should last. Should keep it hot for about two to three hours. So you got some options if you did want to take uh, cooked food. So we talked about uh, prospects, we talked about pitfalls. So let's talk about pleasure. What are some of the pleasures that you're looking forward to? Another P, permit. Permit! Did y'all know that here in Florida that you get 
get your permit to drive when you turn 15 and you can drive as long as you have an adult in the car with you. And do y'all know that I will not be the adult that's in the car with Jada? No. I'm ready to drive. <laughs> not gonna happen. So you're ready to drive. So there comes some responsibilities. I'm taking an entire like course mm -hmm. right now. And it's all about like driving safety. There's like a whole chapter about speed. There was like a chapter that took me three hours to do because it went through like every single drug. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, it was so long. Mm -hmm. But it's important, but it's just really long. Yeah. And um, I'm not exactly excited to drive because driving scares me, but I'm excited mm -hmm. to go places. If you know what I mean. Oh. Like, like, I want to be at McDonald's getting the McFlurry. <laughs> I don't want to. But you want someone to drive you to get your McFlurry. I like being driven around. Um, hey, Crystal Inspire. Hi, sweetheart. You doing all right, girl? You see my house guest today? This is my, my neighbor, Jada. So we're talking about um, going back to school. Jada's going to be turning 15 and how my heart is breaking. I think I shared with you guys, if you've ever watched one of our lives together, um, one of our things that we used to do when she was little and she thought that I was really cool is we would have these tea parties. The tea parties. The tea parties were lit, girl. The tea parties. I remember the tea parties. The tea parties were lit. And they had like, the, you had like the little like stick with mm -hmm. honey, honey on, on it. it. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Because we do it fancy over here. So um, for you guys that have the uh, privilege, I do not count it. Um, Anything other than a privilege that Jada's parents allows me to um, pour into her. I'm very grateful for the women in my community when I was growing up. Um, I grew up in North New Jersey, so my uh, immediate family were my neighbors. Uh, right next door was Mrs. Ellis. Across the street was Yolanda Hearns. Uh, Miss Ellis's daughters were Crystal and Roslyn. They were also friends of my mother. So I had, you know, some good examples, yeah, because this pot gets real. Oil. Yeah. Um, so again, make sure that you are taking time, making time for the next generation. Um, their parents are doing the best that they can. And before you start casting judgment on other people, make sure that you have invested some time in a child. Can you check that salmon to shake it, take it out? What's it look like? How you feel about that? Is it cooked? That looks perfect. I think, what's the time? Stick it back in there and let's see what time it is. Seven, seven minutes? Seven minutes? Seven minutes. Let's give it two more minutes. All right, All right guys, I'm doing some uh, sauteed onions and mushrooms. Jada's absolutely no go. <laughs> no mushrooms. Vegetables. She walked in and was like, what is that? Um, mushrooms. They're just. Yeah, we got to check the time because so I got to go back to work. They're just scary, you know? Mushrooms. It's one of those things you don't like now. Maybe you'll like them when you get older. I don't know. I'm still yet holding on for you. Holding on to those. Holding on that you will actually come to love and appreciate them. Um, we're going to do some zucchini and some broccoli. They're mushrooms. I know they're mushrooms, and I like mushrooms. So you want it, your salad. Actually, can you come... This is the tail. Just spin that so that you get the water off. You might want to come on the other side. Over here? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, okay. Oh, so I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to get. So, wait. What is it doing? It's shaking all of the water out. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, kitchen gadget. Hey Joel, your daughter has a car too. Oh my gosh. Hmm? Oh no, I was just reading. Okay. <laughs> Crystal, I'm trying. You know I'm visually challenged. I'm not, I don't have on my glasses or contacts, so I'm doing the best that I can. 
Um, so, when you do get your permit and you're able to drive alone, um, you know, Mr. Chase always wants you to be safe. Um, I had a friend who had um, a, you know, this close, so you never, I don't ever want you to feel that, you know, if something happens, that you can't talk to your mom and dad, because your mom and dad are very understanding. But it's also good to always have an advocate. So we have an agreement that I will never share anything that you share with me, with your mom and dad, unless what? Unless it puts me in like a dangerous situation. Unless you are in danger or someone else is in danger. And will I ever tell them without you knowing that I told them? No. So stop violating kids' trust. Yes, trust with kids is really important because um, I got a lot closer with my parents within the past year. And when you make an effort to have a kid, uh, like a kid, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, count me. Uh, when you make an effort to have a kid trust you, you get a lot more out of it. Like, if it prevents kids from being in dangerous situations because they, they feel like you can talk to if they're, or if they need help. So, I'm just saying like this, Teresa, trust is very important. Can you guys see that salmon? I should have put some paper down on the bottom, but it's still going to be good. Wait, why did you fry like a piece of the skin? Why did I fry a piece of the skin, Jada? Because I like the skin from the fish. So it's going to be like a little crouton. Fish skin? Fish skin. Fish skin. So I have my uh, seafood market take the skin off of the fish, and then I just lay it flat in my air fryer. I'm going to cut it up and make it like croutons. You're going to love it. All right. So we talked about pitfalls. We talked about pleasures. Um, so let's talk about being pretty. Is that all water? That is all water. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Here is our right under vegetables. These are all vegetables that um, I have from the week. Uh, don't do that. Pour it take the, the lid off and then take the green basket out and then pour the water out. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Here, let me hold that. Take the green basket out and get it out. And then pour the water. Got it? Yeah. So, um, I think I shared with you guys when I bring my groceries home, I go ahead and chop them all up and put them in these bowls. That just makes me... Um, more inclined to cook them to make sure that we um, are not wasting anything that we have. Um, in here was mushrooms, onions, garlic. We had some broccoli and zucchini. Um, I did the uh, all-purpose thyme seasoning, but I also did put some salt in it today because I just felt like I needed some. And then the uh, herb thyme seasoning, the dry herbs. I'm going to do some uh, parsley that I had to get rid of and I didn't dry it. So. We're gonna go ahead and have our lunch. Thank you, God. Oh wait, we didn't talk about being pretty. Since you have on your, hello. Come here. Oh, here, you come back over here. Hello. Since you have your, your hair and your makeup and all of that. So when we, um, I like the fact that you are not always preoccupied with your looks and you have not placed significant value in being pretty because you know that you are but you're not a jerk about being pretty. Yeah, the, and the I reason used... why is because you have a good heart first. Thank you. You do. So I always appreciate that about you. Um, and then you're going to a performing arts school where appearance is going to be judged very, very heavily. How you look, how you sound, um, your weight. So I want to make sure that you are encouraged that you do not give more energy to your appearance than you should okay because you are you started out fly so you're always gonna be fly because you <laughs> got it because you. you like that so all right guys so thank you for joining us for 10 minutes of your time do i have any questions no questions all right 
Guys, it was great. I hope to see you soon. Be nice. Wear your mask. Encourage someone. If you haven't reached out, I think, Crystal, uh, this morning on your walk, you challenged us to make sure that you bust a move for your body. As you can see, I'm ready to bust a move. Um, make sure that you are checking on your family, checking on your friends. Um, send someone a message to encourage them. Make sure that you are staying connected with people. Love them. Parents. Adults, citizens of the United States of America, please make sure that you are registered to vote. Parents, if you have adult children who do not really understand the voting process or the poli how politics works, now is the time for you to tap into resources to educate them about the importance of their vote. I have seven children, two of my own, five of Maurice's. All seven of our children are registered to vote. You want to know how we know that? Because we went and we looked them up. We made sure that we called each and every one of them to make sure that they knew where they were supposed to vote, that they had everything that they needed, that uh, well, when the primaries came, that they had their sample ballots and they understood what it was that they were voting for. Not getting them caught up in rhetoric and all of the things that we're watching on TV. Again, there's enough of that out there to bog us down, but we have to move. We have to vote. We cannot go there and stay here. Okay? We, we, can't, we cannot go there and stay here. And the person who is going to take us there needs our vote. Now, he, he's not perfect. He's not. He's going to make, some, make mistakes. We are all going to make mistakes. But we do not have the privilege of being divided anymore. 200,000 people have lost their lives. People in my family have lost their lives. People get up and go to work in hospitals every single day, putting their lives at risk. Our veterans, our heroes, our heroes, our police officers, good police. Every police officer is not bad. Okay, but there's sin everywhere we are. So make sure you call the thing a thing. You hold people accountable. I'm getting preachy right now. Crystal's on here. That's my, my new pastor. She don't know it yet, but she'll, she'll figure it out. So I love you guys. Take care of yourself. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, bye, Jada. <laughs>